Hi there, this is Karen from Soul Shimmer Designs and my very bright and spring summery project are these wooden reversible blocks. You can see I've used really bright colours and really bright vinyl, the colourful glitter range. So let's see how they come together. First you'll need six blocks of different sizes. They were starting off at 14 centimeters, then 12, and then 10 centimeters. So that's about five and a half inches, four and a half, and three and a half. But you can make them whatever size you wanted. That was just how I thought I would like them. And then there is one long block that covers the smaller two blocks. And you'll see how that works out with the smaller letters on it. So for the vinyl colours I used all the colourful glitter range, the mint, the pink, the blue, yellow, lavender, white and also the glitter magenta. And for the background you could use scrapbook paper or like cardstock but I decided I wanted to have some bright colours so I used my favourite Aurora paints. And you can see here I'm adding on each coat. I put two coats on each just to give them a really bright look. And with the Aurora paints, if you don't have a particular colour, you can make your own with the pigments. Here I've made one using the white base and a few drops of the blue to get a specific blue colour that I wanted. And these are all non-toxic paints, so that's why I like to use them. Especially good if kids get hold of them they're uh, non-toxic and the yellow I made with using one of the Aurora paints called custard and then added in a few more of the pigment yellow drops just to get that color that I wanted the last color is strawberry shortcake and it's just a really pretty pink and with two layers of that it comes up really nicely so here is all the blocks all done and you can see the colours are quite strong just with two layers and my next step is to add on the letters. So I set up everything in Silhouette Studio and just measured each block and each letter they all come out differently depending on the style of the letter, the size how wide they are but I think that gives it a bit of character it doesn't have to be all exactly the same so the first lot of vinyl that I'm weeding is the spring vinyl and I'm loving the colors already with this vinyl and then now I'm on to the, the summer just weeding all of those these letters were really big um, probably the biggest I've worked with before and this vinyl is quite thick so there's perfect for this project and these bigger larger letters and you'll see when I'm transferring over the letters onto the blocks I actually didn't need any transfer paper because the vinyl is quite thick and you can do it a lot of things by hand so I'm just going through and adding each of the letters on now for the blocks to spell out summer and you can see how easy it is, how fast, how quick it is for these larger letters to be taken off the backing sheet and popped onto the blocks. That's a really good vinyl to work with particularly at this size and as I said this is the biggest size I've worked with in vinyl so was quite a nice experience instead of having to weed out tiny pieces so now I'm almost done just putting the R on and we have our blocks to spell now summer the next thing to do is to add on the vinyl for the spring word so I'm just turning them over and adding on my 
letters for spring. This font I've got from Creative Fabrica and I can also add that into the description box of my tutorial. This whole project is quite an easy one to do. The part that takes the longest time would be the painting of the blocks. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the tutorial, you could use either a cardstock instead of doing the painting, but it's up to you, whatever design that you would like to use. So now I've added on all of the letters and you can see how good it looks and when you turn them over. The last vinyl we need to add on is for the rectangular block and this is the glitter magenta colour. It's a stunning pink and it's really come out so nicely in this light and it's very easy to use. Just weeding all the excess there now and using my transfer tape and you can see how easily that comes off from the backing. Then time to add it on to the rectangular block piece. And again using my squidgy and comes off beautifully. Then we put the time word on the back of the rectangular block. And that is our set all done. You can see here how easy it is to change the sign around. And the oh hello can also be used for the summer as well as for the spring. So summertime and oh hello spring. So this is a little bit of a photo shoot to show how it looks in as a decoration piece. And I'm really loving these colours. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm definitely ready for a spring and for a summer of 2023. So if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.